Hey everybody, if you guys have been following along with me on YouTube or my other social media platforms, you'll know that I've been doing a lot with stabilizing and casting wood. And through this adventure, I've really accumulated quite a large pile of different types of turning blanks. And I think it's about time that I start to offload some of these. So in order to do that, I really want to take some high quality pictures because you can't really see the detail in this if, well, I give you a crappy picture. So using my light tent or my photo tent, I'm going to take picture of these, pictures of these, but I really want to be able to prop them up in a decent way. I've seen some people use a, a pen stand or different things, so I am going to take a shot at making my own stand specific to pen blanks. And so I already purchased some acrylic or some plexiglass, and I got down the CNC. So let's give this a try. All right, so I already have two different designs kind of laid out that I designed in Illustrator. One is going to be more of a step display, and the other one is uh, a display where I can uh, put them vertically and kind of leaning. Uh, I've already simulated the carve, and it should be about 11 minutes. I've kind of customized my settings, kind of looked online a little bit, and tried to figure out what is going to work out best here. So let's turn this thing on, align the bit, and give it a try. Uh, one of the big issues with cutting acrylic is speed. Um, if we hang around in the same spot too long, it's going to start melting the material. It will get a really nasty, gunked up, kind of messed up looking cut. This right here is about what we ended up with. Um, as you can see, it didn't go all of the way through. So I think this thing is salvageable, but it is definitely going to take a lot more cleanup than I really want to do right now. I have this thing really cranked up. I, uh, simulation says it'll take about five minutes. I'm going to try to cut everything in two passes. I reduced the size of my tabs and I spent quite a bit of time changing the locations of my tabs. Um, and well, I guess we'll just see how this one goes. All right, so maybe that was a little bit too aggressive. Uh, the problem was is that as the bit was going through this, since this is so flexible and the spiral upcut bit, it kept trying to suck this up. And then it would just cut all the way through it, and these would just pop out and jiggle around in there. Uh, maybe my speeds were wrong, maybe my bit was wrong, but you know what, and these pieces are, might be salvageable, but they are just way more work than I really want to put into this. All right, so it's a new day and I have some new acrylic. I got a little bit thicker stuff. This is cast one quarter inch acrylic. I also got a bit that was purpose made for cutting acrylic. I've already ran a couple test cuts on the piece I have mounted up there and it's looking a lot better. So let's give this a try. This time around, my setup worked a lot better. It still wasn't absolutely perfect. I still have some uh, dialing in to do, but I think that these will definitely fit the bill. They will suit the need. Instead of cutting the cross members with the CNC, I decided why not just use my table saw. I put an 80 tooth blade on there, so we should be at least relatively clean. Then I am going to just clean it up, sand it with some uh, sandpaper, go up through the grits, and finish it off with some fire to kind of melt it down. I'm going to start with 80 grit, and then move to 120, 220, and then 400. And then I'm going to take this torch and burn the edges of it, which will melt kind of some of the fine dust and give it more or less a crystal clear look. All right, so we have some of this fast set acrylic adhesive. Uh, working time, one to two minutes, set time or fixture time in about three minutes. You get your full strength in about 72 hours. So you don't want to be throwing this thing around, but you got a decent hold within a few minutes. It comes with this fancy little applicator that will let us just kind of put it right on the edge and it kind of soaks in through capillary action and it actually melts the two pieces together. All right, they've been glued up for a few minutes, so I took them out of the clamps, being very careful because they're not fully hardened yet. But as you can see, I think that they are going to serve their purpose. I'm gonna let them fully harden, and as you can see behind me, there is a whole entire stack 
of these kind of blanks. So I'm going to get my photo booth out and just go to town tomorrow. So uh, I'll include some of the pictures from that, but I'd call this a success. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and comment down below. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. And as always, stay safe.